Hello and welcome. In this video, we will write some JavaScript to handle the add to wishlist button here. So when someone click on the wishlist, it is going to send a request to our server and it should save the data, which we will do in the next video. Uh, but in this video, we will write some JavaScript and see how you can handle this one. It is very important because I am not using jQuery, I am going to write pure JavaScript. So if you are familiar with uh, jQuery world, it is going to be a little bit different. So I will come to the code here. Coming to the custom CSS, I'm going to remove this one because I don't need this one. Also, I'm going to run the npm run watch in the terminal, so it should see for any changes that I'm making in the assets. Um, as you may know, in the previous video, you learned how you can write CSS and how you can write your JavaScript all together. So coming into the JavaScript file here, I'm going to write a function here, and this function is going to get at wishlist. For now, it doesn't accept any parameter. All it is going to do is it is going to console.log adding item to cart or not adding item to wishlist. So this is going to add an item to the wishlist and I will write another function, something called remove wishlist. And this one is going to remove item from the the wish list that we have for now we will just test how it is going to work i will save it for now and how we will handle the click event here now if i come to my web page here let's refresh this and see if the red color is going away it is not going away so let's see why it is not going away because we remove this one and if i hard reload this one now it is going away sometimes it cache you have to hard reload in mac you can press command shift r in windows you can press control shift r for a hard reload or you can right click here and reload it so that's it and let's see how the we can handle the click event if i check this one it has a class of code inspire wishlist button so based on this class i can bind a, an event like a click event handler to this one for now let's assign it to a variable i'm going to call it wishlist button and it is going to be equal to document dot query selector if this is not working like as you may know like the color coding is not working here what you can do is the easiest way to do is writing it here you can say document dot query selector and in the selector you are going to write the class name that you have for me it is the wishlist class name and here it is and as you can see it can successfully select this one you can copy this one and paste it here so it successfully select that and it will assign it here as as long as i am in the product page it works fine but if i am on other pages it is going to throw an error i will fix the error also for you now i am going to bind a click and even handle it here you can say add event listener and the event listener is going to accept two parameters since this is pure JavaScript. The first one is going to be the the um, event name, which is click, and the second is going to be a function. So it is going to be an anonymous function. If I come here and say console.log this, it should, and I will put this here, it should output the button I am clicking. I will save it for now, successfully compile, refresh your code, and let's see if it works. And remove all the other codes. Now I click on this one. As you can see, this is going to output my button. It means it can successfully handle the click event for me. Now what I can do is when someone click on this one, I am going to call this function, which is at to wishlist and let's call the function and you can see add wishlist here it is going to add it to the wishlist i'm writing a clean code so it should be easy for you in the future you can write it your own way i think it is how i write it so i will save it let's see if it is calling our function you click on this one yes adding to the wishlist now how would you handle to call uh, remove from wishlist when someone click again on this one Currently, if I am clicking on this one, it just keep calling this one. Now, how would you call this one and how would you know 
when the product is on the wishlist or not. That is what I will do now. If when someone click on add to wishlist, I want to add clause to this button. When I add a clause to this button, it means I make this active. You know, if instead of this wishlist uh, text here, if it is a heart icon or let's say a thumbs up icon, the icon should be filled. The icon color should change when someone like it. You know, the like button always change on Twitter or on Facebook, anywhere else. It changes. That's why this is very important that you change this one. And the way you change this one is by adding a color to this one or adding a class to this one. So this is how I am going to handle this one. I will add a class to this one. First, how you can add a class. That is the important part. You can say this dot class list dot add. So this is the pure Java. So if I add the active here and let's see if it works. I compile it. Currently it does not have a class of active. I will refresh my page. Now this is the button. You click on this. Here you go. It add a class of active to this one. Now what I can do is once it add the class of active, I can write a condition. If it has a class of active, then do not call this one. If it doesn't, call this one. So basically you can write a function, a, a condition here. You can write an if condition and say if this dot class list dot contains contains of course a function in JavaScript you can write and you can also use includes here if the class list contains active which is a class of active then you know if it is active call this one it should remove it because it already have it right and now if I save it let's see how it works also the other one should be inside the else so it shouldn't run if the condition goes wrong i will save it again let's refresh the page now the first time you click it should run our add function click on this one add to the wish list the second time it should add remove now when i click on this one it just run the remove because it doesn't have that clause and it always goes away now what i can do is I can do the same thing here instead of remove I can instead of I uh, uh, like add I can say remove so once you remove it from the wish list make sure you remove the class also I don't know if it is a remove or something but let's see you refresh it and you add it to the wish list and you remove it you add it to the wish list you remove it add it to the wish list remove it and that is working fine calling the function exactly the way we want and this is the button also if it doesn't have like you can style it right now i will do the styling behind the scene just a little bit of css but that is easy like this is our javascript this is all you have to do now you have two functions here and each of this function is going to write let's say send an http request to the backend and the backend is going to respond to that request so i hope it has been informative Thank you for watching, I will see you in the next video.